Hi, Chris here. Um, today we're going to talk about hand tying coil springs. As you can see, I've already started. I want to get a little ahead of myself so you guys can see what it looks like as well as see how the tying is done. Uh, the tools that you're going to need are Ruby Italian twine, a pair of good scissors, a number 33 tack hammer, which we have of everything that we've shown here we have on our website. Um, plus you're going to need number 12 barbed upholstery nails. These are number 12 and they have little barbs in them to help stay in the wood as it, the wood is, your springs are tugging on the wood. Anyhow, to measure your twine on what you're going to need, just throw it over your springs, give yourself a little working extra, fold it in half, Cut it so you have two lengths. And take your uh, number 33 tack hammer. Take some blue tacks. It's magnetic. It helps helps you to uh, helps put them in a tight spot if you have a tight spot. Now when the best way you don't want your nails rubbing against your twine. Big problem with that is over time they will cut the twine and your springs will come loose. Lay your twine down like this, both twines in in the uh, in the center of the nails and leave the loop end like that hang out. Flip your loop over top of the nails and pull your twine tight. And if you can see, or you can see, the, the twine is pulling against the twine. It's not going to be pulling against the nails. To find out the, how high you want your springs come push down on your springs and see whereabouts you want them to uh, finish off after you're done tying them. I'm just going to get this one started and show you how to knot it up to the length up here. See that's knotted now. You can leave that one loose. It won't do anything. You must knot them. It makes more sense than if in the future one of these springs breaks, at least it's only going to break here and not unwind all the way up this end. So knot them each time. And how you do that is wrap your twine around your spring, flip it over, and bring it through the bottom, back up through the loop, and knot it off. Basically all you're doing is the same thing as tying your shoe in a knot. Make it nice and firm right here. You have this loose piece over and under. Just like that, over and under. Same thing all the way through, over and under. Over and under. And you want to knot them off the same way See, when you pull your springs down after you have them pulled down, you'll see them coming to the height that you originally picked by pushing the spring down like this earlier. Okay. Bring your tack hammer with you next time and you won't be doing this little jaunt around the table. Knot this off if you like and keep the string out of the way and that's done there. You're going to be coming along with your next. These are the major, these, the twine that you're putting on now is the major stability of the whole eight way hand tied. You got your vertical and you got your horizontal that are, that mean everything in tying. Tie these two together. 
with the same slip knot, I'm not slip knot, the same knot. And I'm going to just do these since we've already seen, you've already seen. Now you want to put another nail here so you can tie this one off. And there you have. Now I'm going to do these last few slowly so you can see what I'm doing without much talk. The spring stands alone until you attach it together with the other springs using the Ruby Italian twine. How many uh, minutes do I got left? Well, there you have it. You have the horizontal tying done. In the next video, Chapter 2, I'm going to have the vertical um, tying done. Uh, if you give me a few minutes, we'll get over to the Chapter 2 of this little escapade. Thank you.